Hi there, I'm Carrie Lawless, and today I am so excited to share with you this incredible whole house transformation. We got multiple offers on this house in one day. Stay with me, I'm gonna show you what we did to make it happen. So starting outside, we didn't really have all that much to do. We just cleaned up the landscaping a little bit, put some really nice planters and this adorable wreath. Now let's go take a look at the inside. The very first room that we're gonna step into is the foyer. We didn't have to do a whole lot here, but you want this to be super welcoming, right? So we just added a table, plant, and some interesting artwork here. Now, my favorite thing, I think this is my favorite thing that we did, was we had our amazing carpenter build a couple of barn doors here. This is probably, bang for the buck, the best thing we did in this house. Because let me tell you that when a buyer walks in, this is what they love. They cannot get over this. So this used to be a teenage hangout. There were two regular white doors here. We had these taken down. Um, oh, the track I did buy from Amazon and the wood I got from Home Depot. It's already this color. So we'll give you the link to the track. Um, and then you just have to find someone to build it, but totally worth it. So we had bright blue carpet or royal blue carpet in here. We took that out and we found some laminate that closely matched the wood in the rest of the house. So not too bad. Um, we did take down the ceiling fan and put a chandelier and that really helped dress up the room quite a bit. Um, here's a tip for you though. If you have like a, a Habitat for Humanity or one of those kinds of thrift stores that takes in building materials, look for chandeliers there and yes, they can be painted. We have videos that show you how to do that. So bang for the buck, that goes a long way. Now, one of the most important things we did here, it was very important, we kept playing with this tablescape. Because the table was long ways and you saw the back of one chair when you walked in, the artwork had to be nice, but this was very important. So we just added some greenery and this little bowl and all the spheres and the candle holders, and that made a big difference. It gave a lot of visual interest to the center of the room. And of course, as always, we did our curtains all the way up to the ceiling, and then just added artwork, plants for warmth, and our mirrors here. All right, let's go see what else. In terms of how much change happened in this house, I would say this room is probably the most dramatic. So we've got this beautiful cathedral ceiling and this gorgeous beam running across, but what we had was popcorn texture. Um, and I find that a lot of people really push back against that. For some people, it's a total deal breaker. They won't even entertain buying the house because of it. So we decided to put a little bit of money into getting all the ceiling scraped and uh, re you know, retextured and just flattened out and it's so beautiful. It came out so nice, bang for the buck, totally worth it. Now, the other things we had going on in here that I felt we needed to change was this brick was very dark, like the exterior of the house. It was very heavy and this was very dark and we had a brass fireplace screen that really needed to come out. So we took that out, we whitewashed the brick, there will definitely be a separate video on that and, uh, and then just painted this white. And the room started to really become light and airy and fresh. The other thing we did was we put new recessed cans in and we did the warm light LEDs and that really modernized the space. There were already cans there, but they were kind of outdated. So we just refreshed those fixtures and we changed the ceiling fan. That really helped a lot. Now we had some heavy furniture over here. We had like, uh, this was very dark wood. And then they had the two pieces, like a typical entertainment center. We got rid of all the side pieces and we just painted this. We put some artwork here and some chairs and really filled up this wall. And I think it came out great. So the last thing, I want to talk about, and of course you can see we went with the blues and the whites and the creams and the grays and those warm and cool tones came together and adding that pop of blue, it just feels great in this room. Um, the other thing we did was, this was such a big wall. We started out, I don't know, we kept playing with this wall. We had a table here, we were trying to figure out what we were gonna put, nothing was big enough. So this is the biggest picture we have for the console table painting idea that we have, but I think the wall is too big.
Yeah, those are definitely too small. Yeah. And I think that's still too small. I mean, like, even with a table, it's just huge. What if, okay, what if we tried to just use all of them? I mean, you think they go well enough together? We'll just make a gallery wall. Okay, and we can add mirrors that are like, they have the same frame. That's awesome. Okay, look, let's lay them out on the floor. You think these go well enough together? Wait, wait, let's add the mirrors. Here. And what about one down there? Oh my god. That is awesome. I can't believe these three work together so well because they're kind of different. All right, hang in, Andrew. You ready to hang some pictures? Yep. So we do this straight, right? Yeah. Okay, so yeah, let's let's make this line straight and this line straight, and then we'll just fill in. Okay. All right, let's get started. What do you think? Perfect. This could not be better. And that kept us from having to buy a console table. We had such a struggle with this, but I think um, this is probably my favorite wall as far as artwork in the whole house. All right, let's take a look at the kitchen. We're now here in the breakfast room, which is the informal dining. Um, what's nice about this space, it was big enough to have a table with six chairs. Um, this is one of my favorite tables. We actually have a video on how I made this finish happen and we'll put a link to that in the description in case you want to see how we did this but um there was a lot of warmth going on on this side of the house so we decided to play up to that with um actually this believe it or not was a habitat for humanity light fixture i think i paid 40 dollars for that we had that changed out and then um so we brought the the dark and the light and then we used the two gray chairs on the end to kind of anchor it so we didn't have all this white going on right next to all this these rich wood tones. So we just decorated all around it. We found this piece actually at Ross and it picked up on the colors in the floor, which was totally coincidental, but it was it worked out really well. And as you can see, I do use a lot of plants to warm things up. I think what you put in the center of your table is really important. And so we use this beautiful little bowl. I think that was Kirkland's. We've got greenery from Hobby Lobby and then the spheres from Hobby Lobby as well. And it just helped warm it up. And in the kitchen, thank goodness we really didn't have to do very much. We really did like the warm tone of the wood. There were brass knobs. We changed those out, very inexpensive. And then we chalk painted actually the backsplash and sealed it with an acrylic sealer, a uh, couple of coats so that um, so that it'll stand up to cleaning and water. And then we just put some decor around and really warmed it up and that's all the space needed. Let's go see the rest. Right off of the living room, there's this door here that enters into this private, feels like a hotel suite. I love the layout of how this master bedroom and bathroom suite is. So um, we did not have to do a whole lot here. They actually had a really pleasing color on the wall. We just brought in furniture. We did our typical, um, smoke and mirrors, iron bed frame. Um, we'll have a link to that and we do our blow up mattresses here. And then we just put some nice warm rich colors. We brought in some nightstands, a table here to kind of represent where your dresser would go, and then just some pleasing artwork and lamps. All right, let's go see this bathroom. This room was already so beautiful, there was not very much that I had to do. I did, however, replace the mirror here and just richen that up with the dark tones that picked up on what was going on here, put a little bit of decor, and that's all that room needed. Now in here, we had the spots that get all over the glass, and it was, it almost looked frosted. So I went ahead and just took a, um, a buffer and some compound, and we got all that off, and now the glass is clear again. Let's go see the other bedrooms. One of the things I forgot to mention when we were in the living room is I love this adorable ladder. This came from Hobby Lobby. Don't remember how much it was. I think under $50. And then we just got, this is actually a rug that we folded up. And then we got, um, I think these came from probably Ross, but this added so much color in this room and I just wanted to point it out. All right, onto the bedrooms. This is one of the spare bedrooms and there was already this beautiful color on the wall. So we left it, of course. And uh, we just found a comforter and a throw and rug that just went perfectly with the color. We did go with the, um, the sh white shears and then a tan 
headboard. This I got off of Amazon, so we'll look for the link for that if you're interested in it. It was a good price. I think it was under $100, but look how much that really adds. We've got the cute little lamps here that we got from Ross. They were probably $19.99 a piece. And then we just played up the color with the artwork. On to the next one. Another one of my favorite rooms. Look how cute this room came out. Basically, we just did white and gray with a little bit of warmth going on here. And of course, one of my favorite things is these cute little bed trays. I wish we had enough to do them everywhere. And I, just, I think it just like invites you into the room. It just feels so great. And we did the cute little shears here that have a little bit of pattern. If you're in a pinch and you need a table, these little wooden round things you can get from Home Depot. They're very inexpensive. And this is sitting on top of another little table. But anyway, and then these I get from Big Lots. Don't know if you have Big Lots. And then we just have a cute little decor. Super cute. All right, on to the next room. We're now in the hall bathroom that is also the guest bath. We put this adorable little curtain. This is just a regular pair of curtains. We hung it at the top. Love the tassels here. And then, so what was happening in here is we had a lot of warmth going on, but at the very top, we had these um, light fixtures that were light and they had this crystal, this glass stuff going on. And I wanted to bring attention to the warmth and I wanted something not taste specific. So I found these light fixtures at Home Depot. I think they were $39 a piece. So we brought the warmth that's here also up to the top. We turned this mirror, it was horizontal. We made it vertical, which also helps bring the eye up and increases the visual height. We put some little towels here and some plants and all that for warmth. And then we brought these. These are actually plastic. I got these from Michaels. Uh, I think I used a coupon. What's really cute about this, this is actually glass um, aquarium gravel. I don't know what all colors it comes in, but I thought it was such a cute decoration. And I just warmed it up with towels and plants. Let's go see the rest. In this house, one of my favorite features is there is an apartment here. So this originally was the garage and they needed a space for um, family members. So they turned this into a full-size apartment. It's an efficiency. Um, so when we got here, there were some really bright colors going on. There was teal and bold yellow, and they were giving it like a tropical feel, which was great, but not for resale. So what we did was we painted everything gray, super neutral, and then we decorated everything super neutral. And I love how it came out. We did our typical curtains, almost to the ceiling kind of thing. And then because this is all one room, I wanted to give definition to each space. So I started with this wall, which is probably where I would put a TV if I lived here. So I put this picture to kind of represent that. And then I made a separate little living area, which you can see, you can, you can fit a lot of people here. Um, and then over here, we set this up like what would be the bedroom portion of the apartment. Now over here, in addition to the bold colors, we had uh, the yellow oak cabinets and they just weren't fitting in with the look that we were going for. So you will see a link below where we teach you how to chalk paint cabinets if you don't already know how to do it and it came out really great. And then we just took some decor and uh, decorated the countertops. All right, so there's a little bathroom in here. Of course, it's a small space. We didn't have to do too much, but I did change the light fixture to something very kind of farmhouse. And then we put a new mirror and I did my little trick that I always do when I take curtains and make a shower curtain that goes all the way up. So this room came out really cute. All right, let's check out outside. You will not be disappointed. Now I'm really excited to show you one of my favorite spaces in the whole house, and it's the outdoor. What we did is we created incredible warmth. We created a second living area, lamps, plants, pillows, the whole thing. I mean, you should have seen the buyer's faces when they saw this area. So unexpected. And uh, we even brought a table, some artwork, totally worth it to make this space amazing. And then over here, we did, we just brought some iron chairs. This table was already here, but that's all we had to work with. So then I just decorated it just like I would have if it was inside. I just went a little bit bolder with the color. We've got our, our lanterns here that all have candles and um, I just love how it all came out. All right, I'm gonna show you the last thing. 
I want to show you what we did to the patio area and around the pool, but before I do, this space to me is very important. These are so under-decorated, but when you pull into this driveway, this is what you see. Now, when I got here, there was nothing going on here. The door was white. Um, there were no shutters, although there were shutters on the house. None of this was here. It was just very blank. And so I felt like when I pull into this driveway, I want my eye to be drawn into something that feels really cozy. And so we put the planter box, we had some shutters made, and we have this black bench and two plants. And let me tell you, as far as curb appeal goes, this went a long way. All right, so let's see the, now it's the last thing. So this is the last stop on our tour. As you can see, we added some color, a fun umbrella over there. And then we got the fountain cleaned up and working. And then we added some blue Adirondack chairs back there, which I think we got from Home Depot. And I think they're about $15 a piece. So bang for the buck, that color really draws your eye back there. And it's very soothing. My name is Carrie Lawless. Please subscribe and ring the bell for notifications so you will know when our next video comes out. I hope this has brought you value. I hope you've learned some things. And I hope you've enjoyed it.